Hi, I'm Ali Campbell, and today I'm going to share with you one of my very favorite NLP techniques. It's actually one of the techniques that helped me to change my own life when I very first discovered NLP. Discovering NLP was like being handed the instruction manual to my mind for the very first time. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think of something that you maybe find frustrating, irksome, not your deepest trauma, just something that frustrates you. I want you to experience this for yourself because I think it's more powerful that way. So on a scale from one to 10, something is maybe about a six or a seven, but no higher. Then I'd like you to close your eyes, of course, providing it's safe for you to do so. If it's not safe for you to do so, this would be a very strange thing for you to be watching. So I'm assuming it's safe for you to do so. So close your eyes and just go back to a memory of that thing that, that frustrates you or, or, or annoys you. Do you have any pictures? You do. Are they color or black and white? Just make a little mental note to yourself. How large are those pictures? Are they life size? Are they bigger or are they smaller? Is the picture moving or is it still? Is it, has it got a border around it or is it actually like panoramic? You can look all the way around. Just notice some of these details perhaps for the first time. Is there any sound? How loud does it sound? Just to yourself, just rate it on the scale from one, really quiet, to 10 where it's very loud. Notice if it's sound that sounds like background noise within the memory, or does it sound like your own thoughts? Almost like a, a commentary of the memory. And then how does that make you feel? Where do you feel that feeling in your body? Is it in your chest, is it in your head? Or maybe it's somewhere else. Does it feel light or heavy? Does that feeling have a color? Does that feeling move? Just notice some of those things for yourself. And then notice on that scale from one to 10, how do you feel right now? Because we're about to change all of that in just a few seconds. Ready? Take the picture and make it black and white. Then half it in size. Half it in size again. Go on, half it in size again. Move it down to the bottom right hand corner of your visual screen. And then just for good measure, just push it a little bit further away. You can even put a border around it if you want. Take the sound. Turn the volume all the way down. From wherever it was when you started, all the way down. So this, just a whisper. Doesn't matter if that sound is in the background of the memory or your commentary of the memory in your head. Just turn the sound all the way down. And then if there's any of that feeling left, just pop it out. Pop it out between, between you and I. Just pop it out in front of you. And again, just half that in size. And in fact, make it lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. How do you feel now? It feels a little different, doesn't it? Now what I'd love you to do to make it stay like that for a little while for you, is just gently squeeze together any finger and the thumb on one of your hands. Just pinch that together. It doesn't have to be hard, just so that you make a, a connection, like a little button. In NLP, we call that an anchor. How do you feel? A lot lighter. If that technique really resonated with you and you'd like to learn more, then for a limited time, Hay House are offering you the chance to download a free copy, a free ebook copy of my uh, Hay House Basics series book, NLP, How to Use Neuro Linguistic Programming to Change Your Life. All you have to do is click on the link to sign up for your free copy right now.